put in 120% every time or you don't put in nothing because listen to me very close. Today, this opportunity you have, it might not be here next year. It might not be here the year after next. It might not be here the year after that. This is the only moment you got and you better take advantage of this particular moment. You've hit the wall someplace, you've looked in the mirror too many times and haven't smiled. You want to change the situation, move from where you are. The journey is not easy. Before you start that journey, mentally, you must fuel yourself with the right reasons, the right fuel to sustain the entire journey. Everyone's hot off the start. It does not take talent. You don't have to be talented. Right? You don't have to be gifted. You don't have to be the quickest, the strongest. You don't have to be the most intelligent to get to where I am. That's what you gotta do. You just gotta grind though. You're grind. You might come from privilege. Your daddy might hook you up with a car. He might know people. He might be able to get you a job. But you will not outwork me. You better grow up and get to the point as a man that if you ever get beat, you better get beat by somebody that's just, that's just purely more talented than you are. You better not ever get beat by somebody because you beat yourself. We know from our past experiences that big things start small. Uh, you know, it, 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 the biggest oak starts from an acorn. And you've got to reckon if you want to do anything new, you've got to be willing to let that acorn grow into a little sapling and then finally into a small tree. And maybe one day, it'll be a big business on its own. Basically, you can't skip steps. You have to, uh, you, there are no shortcuts. And, uh, but, uh, but you want to do those steps with, you know, passion, ferocity. Those days, I'm tired or worn out. Or just... well, what do I do on those days? I go anyways. I get it done even if I'm just going through the motions. I go through the motions. I don't really want to work out. I work out. I, I really don't want to hammer on a project. I hammer on the project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed. Yeah, I get up and get out of bed. Now, these could be signals that you need some time off. And those signals might be right. They could be correct. But don't take today. Not today. Wait until tomorrow. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that. Do not listen to that noise. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Spirit the hill. Work on the project. Get out of bed. As an overall rule, I do not like procrastination. You need to get things done. But if you are going to rest, that is one thing that you think I want you to put off until tomorrow. And if when tomorrow comes, you still feel you need to take a break. Okay. Take it. But the chances are you won't. You won't need that rest. Chances are you will realize that the desire to rest was just weakness. It was just the desire to take the path of least resistance, the downhill path, the easy path. And by simply going through the motions, you overcame that path. And you stayed on the righteous path, the disciplined path. You stayed on the war path, which is right where you know that you belong. Shame, failure, embarrassment. And I just remember feeling this tremendous shame. 
And at some point, I think we all hit that moment in life where things just are not going how you thought they would go. And, and what's amazing about those moments is we all respond very differently. Persevere. Nothing worthwhile is easy. No one of achievement has avoided failure, sometimes catastrophic failures. They keep at it. They learn from mistakes. They, they don't quit. The second restaurant failed and they held on to it for too long. So by the time that they closed the second restaurant, it was an $800,000 loss. And so I found myself at the age of 41, like just feeling like a complete failure. I'm not done yet, right? I got more in me. When you come up with excuses for why other people are successful and you're not, that sh is dangerous. We all go through hard times. We all go through depression. We all do go through doubt and, and then moments in your life where it's really f difficult and you're trying to figure out what the f your path is going to be. It's hard as sh but that is what makes you a person. And those difficult moments are what build your character. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. It's supposed to be that way. The journey you're embarking on is not an easy path. Part of it is the weak nature. It's for the strong people. Before you embark on this journey, mentally you have to prepare yourself for it. No one's going to get worse before it gets better. When you embark this journey, you must know that it's going to go down before it comes up. But when it comes up, it's going to go so much higher than you've ever been. Sacrificing today for tomorrow's betterment. You have to be equipped mentally to endure this process. Knowing what you're about to go into is step one. Knowing it's an uphill battle, but a winnable one and one that's achievable. And at the end of this race, guys, you're going to be more capable. The first step, guys, is knowing it's a tough road. But through that effort, builds the character of the person you want to be at the end. Accept that. If you believe it, your body physically will find a way to make it happen. At some point, we all bought into this lie that you've got to feel ready in order to change. Yeah. We bought into this, this complete falsehood that at some point, you're going to have the courage. At some point, you're going to have the confidence. And it's total bullshit, frankly. It's, it's complete garbage. And so there are so many people in the world, and, and, and you know, you may be watching this right now, and you have these incredible ideas and what you think is missing is motivation and that's not true because the way that our minds are wired and the fact about human beings is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable or scary or difficult what was the biggest lie you were told it's not that simple why not no, that's the biggest lie I was ever told. It's not that simple. It's a lie they tell you over and over again. What's not simple? Any of it. All of it. It's how they get you to give up. They say it's not. So what's the truth? That it is. And if you just do the thing that they tell you, you can't, then they stop. You realize it is that simple. So you don't understand what kind of man I am.